the monet wannabe versus the og monet hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video let us have a small preview of tortoise 5.2 and compare it with the og which is the android 12 now tortoise 5.2 is bringing us monet on android 11 what is monet the material you inspired theming engine which google is bringing with android 12 the awesome developers over at dot os have brought it to android 11 which is why they are calling dot os 5.2 and the theming engine which they have monet wannabe because monet is the internal code name for material you and we have dot os 5.2 unofficial build running on my xiaomi mi 11x or the poco f3 and here on the left is the redmi k20 pro which right now is running android 12 beta 5 let us get down to business right away let me open chrome and now let me open my recents on both of these you will notice the difference with android 12 of course you can now copy your link and images right from your recents that is not the case with tortoise 5.2 now another change you will notice is that the application icon is now a bit above the window and there is some spacing there as well if you tap on the app icon you still have the same icons but with android 12 they are a bit compact and the window is more rounded now i wonder what is going to happen when android 11 custom roms bring over the pixel launcher from android 12 are they going to get the same recent style or not that would be something interesting to look out for then we can have a look at the volume panel so here is the volume panel on your dot os and here is the volume panel on android 12 you of course are going to notice some changes one being that the alarm and the volume slider are combined in android 12 whereas that is not the case with the dot os build and then the three dot menu which you have for bringing your other options in android 12 that thing brings up the options at the bottom with dot os they are along the same lines then we can also have a look at the quick settings panel so here it is this is the quick settings panel comparison and again you do not have the android 12 style quick settings panel in dot os you still have the android 11 style quick settings panel in dot os 5.2 next up let us talk about the clock widget so yes dot os 5.2 does have the android 12 style clock widget as you can see on your screen right now but one thing which i noticed is that this specific widget in android 12 it has the seconds moving around whereas in dot os 5.2 you do not have that option and also another thing is that android 12 does not have this specific widget so if i go into widgets and clock these are the four widgets which are available for android 12 and we can go into the widgets of dot os so these are the different clock widgets which are available and this one here is not available in android 12 right now next up let us address the elephant in the room which is monet versus monet wannabe so this is your ui and on android 12 you have to tap on change wallpaper and go through the different options with dot os once you go into wallpapers you can of course schedule your wallpaper yes they have added wallpaper scheduling then they also have some built-in wallpapers you also have dot os exclusives you also have live wallpapers but again monet wannabe is not going to work with live wallpapers and you can of course pick wallpapers from your gallery as well now how do you get this android 12 ui on dot os well for that you have to go into settings go into customization and bam here it is this is the ui which you are looking for again you can see that they have made it a bit rounded whereas the edges on android 12 beta 5 are a bit squarish you do have wallpaper colors and basic colors here and you have wallpaper colors and system colors and again the customization level with dot os is much more you can 
use your smart accent picker reset the custom accents change the accent color for light theme and dark theme all these customizations are not present in android 12. similarly other customizations which you get with the monet wannabe are of course your choosing the prominent accent color again something which is present in android 12 beta 5 as well but you also get something called theme colorfulness now once i increase this you will notice that it gets more colorful so let us go ahead and increase this and bam there it is you can see the colorfulness of the theme has definitely increased as in the prominent accent color is now even more colorful there it is i reduce it you notice how it went down from extreme brownish shade to a mild brownish shade yep that is what theme colorfulness is similarly you can do this with theme brightness as well so increasing brightness will make lighter colors stronger and darker colors more subtle and vice versa so let us give this also a try and increase it and as you can see let me reduce this to minimum yep there it is you can see the brown is now more darker and if i increase the theme brightness it keeps getting a bit lighter so that is again something exclusive to dot os 5.2 not present in android 12 at all similarly you can change the clock faces as well now changing lock screen clock faces is not present in stock android so again that feature is missing and the default clock face on android Android 12 is the same as the one which you get on your dot os 5.2 I mean they have almost the same clock face yep there it is there are some alignment issues because do note this is an unofficial build of dot os 5.2 then of course you can change your launcher grid as well something which can be done across both of them and here are the different options you have and I think they might almost be the same no so android 12 has a few more extra options but i'm pretty sure dot os will add them pretty soon then you can change the system font as well something which cannot be done in android 12. then different icon shapes are also present here are the different options on your screen and similarly different icon packs are also present and again the animations on dot os are pretty smooth you also have more settings wherein you can customize your aod status bar all those things those things i think i will cover in the detailed dot os 5.2 video now another thing which i noticed with the android 12 clock widget is that it changes the accent color dynamically within the wallpaper as well so right now if you notice it is bluish or tealish color and if i bring this over here bam you notice it is now brownish in color and this i think is not happening with dot os 5.2 anyways nonetheless let us go ahead and change the wallpaper and see the material u effect kick in so let me say change wallpaper let us try any built-in wallpaper which is present and let us choose say this one and of course with dot os 5.2 you can crop the image choose whatever part of the image you want to use i don't think so you have that functionality with your android 12 let us try to do that and i can of course you know hide the ui preview set the wallpaper but i do not have the option of cropping it then if i go into colors it is going to show me the wallpaper colors again something which is not shown on android 12 and you can of course apply it to both the home screen and the lock screen and once it is applied here it is you can see material u has kicked in on both the devices and monet and monet wannabe are both working now is it working on the google keyboard in android 12 yes it is working is it working on the google keyboard in dot os 5.2 no i don't think so it is working because the languages and input section in google keyboard on dot os 5.2 does not have the option of dynamic so let us go into the on-screen keyboard gboard and if i go into theme i do not have the option of dynamic but if i go to the same option in your android 12 i should have the option of dynamic so here it is and i go into theme first option you see dynamic color 
that is not present in .os 5.2 and I think they might have to bring over the Google keyboard from Android 12. Next up, let us have a look at the settings, how they look on both these devices. So again, on the right, you have .os 5.2. The settings UI is a bit different. You will notice that with .os, the settings word is stickied on the top left. I think this is like Oxygen OS or One UI style, whereas with Android 12, they still have the old style, but just a new accent color in the background and a new search bar, all those things. Similarly, if I go into storage, you will notice that the UI is a bit different. So again, expect some different UI in the settings menu with Android 12 and with .OS 5.2. Then .OS 5.2 has added something called gaming dashboard as well and this is how the gaming dashboard looks like. You do have game settings available in Android 12 as well. So let us go ahead and search for game. I do get game settings and I only have the toggle of enabling gaming dashboard. Now with Android 12 you do have a workaround to enable gaming mode in beta 5 and here it is. This is your game dashboard and and this is Android 12. This, of course, is .OS 5.2. Now you do have a master toggle. Then you have quick controls, and you have the in-game controls like screenshot, screen record, and DND. All these are present in Android 12 Beta 5 as well. And you also have the option of live streaming to your YouTube from within game dashboard in Android 12. Something which is not present in .OS 5.2. And you also have something called FPS meter, which is going to show you the FPS again missing in .OS 5.2. Then you also have a toggle to block the notifications. What do you want to do with the ringer in gaming mode? What is the gaming mode indication you want of notification toast or both? Then you have toggles to disable automatic brightness. You have a toggle for dynamic mode. All of these options are missing in Android. 12. Now another super important thing to note over here is that Google has not implemented or has not brought gaming mode as an option explicitly. It is still hidden so we do not know whether it is going to roll out with the stable build of Android 12 or not. Now how does the gaming mode look for .OS 5.2 when you are actually playing a game. So here it is. Let us assume FX file manager is a game and as you can see the pill here is pretty similar. Now the only differences which I have noticed personally are for starters the pill cannot be moved. Now let me use my workaround to enable gaming mode. So here it is this pill here you see in Pac-Man I can actually move it around and it goes into a small arrow on the edge of the screen. With .OS I cannot move this pill around. It stays where it is and it is a small bar on the right hand side of the screen. So again you have a small arrow and here and you have a small bar which you have to swipe. In fact we just exited the game so yep and then you of course can start your screen recording your screenshot all those options are common across both the game modes but personally I think .OS game mode has a lot more features as compared to the Android 12 game mode. Now another awesome feature which you will find in .OS 5.2 is something called battery manager. So let us go into settings, battery and of course the UI here is a bit different. You do get a cool looking animation in .OS 5.2 something which is missing in Android 12. Here is your battery manager and you have something called battery saver profiles. Note these are battery saver profiles. So you have four different options default, moderate, high and extreme and you can customize each of these profiles. So let us say I go into extreme tap on customize the profile. So here are the different toggles which are available and which you can turn on and off for each of these modes which you see. Go into high customize the profile and here and you can again change the different toggles which you see on your screen right now. Then you also have something called extreme battery saver, battery saver schedule, turn off battery saver when charged and 
auto turn off level can also be customized along with the option of smart charging and smart cutoff and there it is peeps that was just a preview of dot os 5.2 and comparing monet with the monet wannabe do let me know which one do you like more in the comments on this video and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you